And I'm delighted to say that Jamisha and Yopi both uh, join us now. It's lovely to see you both and a massive congratulations on your prizes. You must be delighted. Let me ask you, Jamisha, how are you feeling about your award? Uh, incredibly surprised, I think. To be honest. Very happy, um, very honoured, but very surprised. And I just, yeah, honoured to be amongst such beautiful images that I had the privilege of seeing this year. Um, yeah, that's it really. That's a very modest response. Um, how much work did it take to produce those stunning images? Honestly, most of the work really was just kind of deciding to press send. Um, the image actually didn't take that long to make. I just felt I saw the mess. Um, I wasn't in earlier. <laughs> and then I just thought, OK, let me just like see myself and see what I look like in that. And after I saw it, I was like, oh, my gosh. Um, you know, it's kind of humiliating and a bit embarrassing almost to show people this. So a lot of the work was really deciding if I was even going to send it, but I wanted to in the end. So, yeah, that, that, that's it really. It's raw and it's true and it's absolutely beautiful, Jamisha. Well done to you. Um, Yopi, what does winning this year's series prize mean to you? Oh, um, <clears throat> hi. Um, honestly, I'm quite speechless now. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, yeah, uh, for me, I would say thank you so much because uh, this story is very, very important, and and this kind of story is is is, is really uh, unheard. We can say it's unheard stories because uh, I've never expected that it happened to. Uh, also, it it affect to uh, this community. Uh, because as we know that uh, long before the pandemic, their, their life is also already uh, under the radar, actually. And now when, 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 when the pandemic hits us, so uh, it, it affects them. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's the thing that I can say. Oh my God, I'm shaking now. <laughs> <laughs> It's so well deserved, Yopi, yeah. seriously. Well done to you. And can I ask you, Jamisha, what you might be turning your attentions to now? Do you have another idea for a, f a photograph or a f photographic project? What might you be doing with the prize? I have no idea because this is <laughs> unexpected, so I have no clue. But in terms of other projects, I'm constantly inspired by, I guess, social implications of having any kind of illness, physical, mental or otherwise. So I wanted to make a film about it's kind of like my love letter to black people in chronic pain um and a lot of those people had to shield this year so it's some kind of film examining cultural responses to having a physical chronic illness and also the ways in which um medical injustices can play a part in that as well and how that always messes together in the experience so uh, moving image this time <laughs> real life that sounds like a story that definitely needs to be told, Jamisha. And is there anything you'd like to say to anyone who's watching who might be struggling with mental health issues at the moment? Oh, gosh. Um, I think uh, naming it, uh, having being able to share it, being able to identify it and taking it bit by bit is really important. Um, I got diagnosed with a physical chronic illness before mental health, so mental illness. So the mental illness side of things was very new and I didn't really know how to process it because it felt like physical had, um, ha oh, there's a reason why I'm ill and the mental illness felt harder to accept, but um, taking it moment by moment, um, re-examining what life looks like uh, and knowing that it can be a good life despite mental illness um i think is probably what i would say to people um then there's and, and shame shame is a constant process of unlearning um i haven't unlearned it yet but yeah <laughs> No, that's beautiful. And your image, the way you speak about it, and I'm sure what you're planning to do with the moving Im image project will all contribute to us all being better equipped to communicate it and to move forward with it so that it's not so stigmatized. So well done again to you, Jamisha. Yopi, if I can ask you what's next for you, any ideas for a new project and what might you be doing with the prize? With the prize? Oh, well, it's kind of difficult question, actually. Um, I have several uh, 
first of all, project that I need to do this year actually, also related to environmental issues, also uh, related to uh, pandemics as well, because as you know that that um, Indonesia now is just our uh, in, uh, the situation in our country, in my country actually, is getting worse. So. Yeah, hopefully uh, this 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 the, the prize can fund is able to fund my my my, my personal projects in the future. Okay, Thank you. Wonderful. And your 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 images speak a thousand words as well, and you've all also spoken about it just there. But is there anything especially that you would like people to know about the current health situation in the trans community in Indonesia that they can start talking about, opening a conversation right. about? Right. Uh, as you know that uh, the main issue of my project is about the identity card actually and if you talk about uh, the trans woman community uh, for example uh, uh, for those commun for this for this community they they, 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 they leave their home in, in a very young age for, because uh, there is a lot of stigma and they have a uh, they are struggling with with uh, internal issues at, at their in, in, in their home and for example uh, in, in in Jakarta actually uh, there are around 2000 some things and, and around 70 percent of them they don't have the ID cards so it affected them to 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 lose so many access, such as health access, also education, and a proper job. So that's why most of the trans women in, in Indonesia, they work as as a, as a sex workers because they don't have a, a, a proper uh, access for, for, for them to, to get a formal job, for example. So that's why uh, um, the, 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 the ID card is very, very important now. So, yeah, uh, so that's the thing that I can tell. Something that you're clearly very passionate about, of helping to change. Um, thanks to the both of you. I am so honoured and humbled to speak to such incredible young people who are telling such hugely important stories and so beautifully as well. I really look forward to seeing what the two of you are going to be doing in the future. So thanks for joining us and congratulations again on your well-deserved awards, you two. Well done. Thanks for joining. Thank you. Bye.